In this video, I'll be showing you how to paint a potted lavender plant using the Bria Reese watercolor ink kit. This kit comes with red, yellow, and blue watercolor inks, a bottle of liquid glitter, a water brush, a palette, and a watercolor paper panel. Your water brush can be filled with water or ink. In this video, I'm going to be using it with plain water. To fill your water brush, simply twist off the cap, fill the base with water, and then replace the top. Squeeze gently to release the water into the compartment with the brush bristles. If you want to clean your brush tip, squeeze to let water flow through the bristles and then wipe your brush on a clean towel. Next I'm going to fill my palette. I'll add several drops of red, yellow, and blue into separate wells. I'm also going to mix a few more colors. Combine drops of red and yellow to make orange. Blue and red will give you a purple. Yellow and blue will make your green. I'm also going to mix yellow with the liquid glitter for a shimmery ink. You can play around with your ratios of drops to make different shades of your new colors. To begin my painting, I'm first going to wet my brush and pick up a small amount of orange ink. I'm going to make a long rectangle for the top of the pot and a slightly tapered rectangle for the bottom. Continue to gently squeeze your water brush to release more water to move your color. You'll want to start with lighter colors as you can always make them darker. When your ink has dried, you can add a pattern to the side of your pot with a bit more orange ink. Next, I'm going to take some of my green and use plenty of water to create the leaves and stems. As you build up more of the green, you may want to add more ink and adjust the color by adding more yellow or blue. Next, we'll start adding the purple lavender flowers. You can create this look by gently tapping the side of your water brush on the page, starting at the tip of the flower and working your way down the stem. Vary the heights and color to give a more realistic look, and feel free to add more leaves and stems if you need them. At this point, you may choose to add a simple purple shadow to the base of your pot using plenty of water. When you're happy with the way your flowers look, you can add some purple splatter by tapping your wet brush against the side of your finger. For the last step, I'm going to add some little bees. Use your glittery yellow ink to paint a few small ovals above your flowers. When the yellow has fully dried, use purple ink to paint the delicate stripes, wings, and stingers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial using the Bria Reese watercolor ink kit. Don't forget to tag Bria Reese when you post your art online so we can see what you create.